Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to install a custom extension to Inkscape. The extension I'm going to be installing is here on GitHub. It's this counter sheets extension. And what it lets you do is create card games, uh, like tabletop board games. It's just a really um, great uh, extension to Inkscape. And so this is written and uh, developed by Pella Nelson, I think is how you say it. And so a huge shout out to him for doing this. That's kind of the beauty of open source, right? Is that anyone can write extensions. So if you have a, a niche, you want to use Inkscape to do some kind of a crazy thing that it can't do yet, you can actually write your own extension uh, and then have that added functionality. So I'll show, us how, I'll show you how to get that in here. When, when we're done with this video, we'll have a new option between a range and color called board games that we can go to to create uh, cards and things uh, very quickly with a nice printable uh, sheet of cards. So once you have that installed, you can go ahead and watch the next video where, where I will actually demonstrate how to use this extension. But in this video, it's just kind of a boring one, just how to install the extension, okay? So the first thing we need to do is download it. Um, so we'll go here to this GitHub page and we'll just click on this green download button and go to download zip. And so we'll download this. And then that's a zipped file, so we can navigate to it. It's in my downloads folder. And I actually have it already extracted, but if you don't have it extracted yet, it's called counter sheet extension dash master. And you just go to right click on it and then go to, I'm using 7-zip, but you can just go to extract here uh, or to go to 7-zip extract here. And I already have it extracted, so I've already done that, but essentially we need to extract it so it's not all compressed and so that we can um, get to the files individually. And then this is what the files will look like. So I'm going to open this up. So the only files we really need from here are this countersheet.inx and this countersheet.py, py. Um, that's a, a Python uh, file. So this is a, this is written in for Python, which is what um, I guess maybe all Inkscape extensions are written in that. So to find out where to put it and to find out which files we need, actually, we can just go back here to the GitHub uh, where we downloaded it from, and it'll tell us on installation. It says copy countersheet.py and countersheet.inx to where Inkscape looks for extensions. On Mac and Linux, it's going to be in the .config slash Inkscape slash extension. And on Windows, which is what I'm using, is going to be in Program Files, Inkscape, Share, Extensions. So we're going to go to C, my local disk C, and then go to Program Files, not the Program Files x86. Uh, actually, I guess it depends on what installation you're using, but one of those two will have an Inkscape directory. So go to Inkscape, and then go to Share, and then go to Extensions. So here's all the extensions we have already. So we, if we notice, these correlate with these extensions here. We have like a range and color and some different things. Well, those are going to be the same things that we find corresponding in our extension. We have this color brighter, you know, color darker, color grayscale. And so we just need to add in, we need to pull up this uh, these extensions that we just downloaded, or this extension that we downloaded, and move it to here. So the, here's the ones we downloaded. We're going to left-click and highlight both of these right click and go to copy, or we could just drag and drop actually. Left click and drag, drag them over to here, and then it'll come up and say, you need administrator permissions to do this. Just click continue, it should ask us twice, for one for each file, and now they are here. Essentially it's installed. We need to close out of Inkscape, and then open it up again, and then we will have a new option. So this is open, we go to our extensions, and now we have board games here create counter sheet, which was not here before. So we just added a custom extension. When we go to this, it brings up some options for it. And so I will show you how to do this in the next video. Well, first of all, I'll show you how to get it all set up though. So what we're going to want to do is take the rest of these. We can close out of this one now where we installed uh, where our extensions are. But the thing that we downloaded, if we go back to our downloads and go to this counter sheets, the, we move the two files out, but then there's also some examples and some templates. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm going to call it game. I'm going to call it something very simple, and you should too. And then I'm going to drag and drop the templates into there, and I'm going to drag and drop the examples into there. And the rest of these things we can just leave. So now when I go into game, I have the examples and the templates directories, which have a bunch of um, some Inkscape folders and some um, like some spreadsheets, things that we can open up in like uh, LibreOffice Calc.